Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Master Crafters, and I'm DJ Philly. Today we're going to be showing you the infinite redstone loop. So, let's get started. All you need is a redstone sort of box, or rectangle here, with redstone repeaters. Now, the arrows of the redstone repeaters must be facing in opposite directions. What I mean is that there's like an arrow type on the redstone repeaters here, and they must be facing in the opposite directions for the loop to work. Now, only or the only thing that you need to activate the redstone loop is by using a redstone torch and by breaking it immediately. This will activate the loop and it'll go infinitely until you break the redstone. You can also make bigger or smaller versions of the redstone loop here. We have a bigger one to demonstrate, so we will activate it. And it'll go into an infinite loop until you break the redstone. Also, a tip with the redstone repeaters is that it must be on the same ticking speed. If you don't know what ticks are, it's basically what Minecraft uses for time. So redstone repeaters actually delays the time for the redstone, and it can delay it by one ticks, two ticks, three ticks, or four ticks. It must be on the same ticking speed, else the loop might break. So basically, the less ticks you have for the loop, the less time it will take for the loop to go around. A cool feature that you can do with the redstone loop here is create an infinite arrow shooter using dispensers. Now all you need to do is create a loop here with redstone going on or near the hopper and activate it with a redstone torch. And congratulations, you've created an infinite arrow shooter that will destroy every enemy in your path. If you like this video here, please subscribe to our channel to see more content. Push the like button with the thumbs up. And check down in the description below to see all our social media pages. And we thank you for watching and have a good day.